Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's brand new comic book day, and new comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, you can get them physically, get them any way you want. In our hands is one of the anticipated comics to come out today. This is Wonder Woman Earth 1 Volume 2 by Grant Morrison, art by Yannick Paquit, colors by Nathan Fairborn, lettering by Todd Klein. Continuing the Earth 1 series from DC, which is, you know, one of the multiple Earths that exist. And this one's really solid. It's a very different take on their superheroes, and I kind of dig it. Uh, so this one is, I, I don't remember liking the first volume, but the second volume is so much better, I think. Uh, it is very relevant to today, uh, exploring feminism, exploring the rise of women, exploring white supremacism, uh, and also pickup artists. It mixes in a lot of stuff that's very socially relevant, relevant and uh, does it in a way that's super entertaining. I think this is a fantastic graphic novel. I think it's one of the, the best things I've, I've read. And generally, I'm not a big Grant Morrison fan, so the fact that I dug this, I think says everything uh, more about it. I kind of go in not really enjoying his stuff generally. So uh, basically, the pigs off of this uh, story is Wonder Woman's still uh, off Amaz the Amazonian, Amazonian uh, islands. Uh, she's traveling the world. She's talking about peace. Is kind of a different Amazonian women that really do uh, believe in peace and love, and that's how they're going to win things over. They're technologically advanced, which is really kind of cool. Uh, and she's traveling the world and dealing with the fact that women are subjugated, and they're wondering if all these Amazonians really have this great system and uh, great technology. Why don't they just rise up and take things over and overthrow man and, and overthrow the patriarchy? It's actually really uh, interesting thoughts and great some stuff uh, to explore and debate. Uh, the There's a whole bunch of villains. I don't want to reveal, uh, reveal everything. It kind of goes back to World War II. Um, and one of the big villains is a pickup artist. And I think it's actually really cool uh, to see Morrison using a lot of their techniques and, uh, and kind of their thoughts to attack Wonder Woman. I mean, today her, her enemies would be pickup artists. Uh, so I think seeing that in a comic is actually really interesting and one of the aspects I enjoyed a lot about this. Uh, the story itself, like, it's it's building up to the third volume. Um, it doesn't quite feel 100% satisfying. It just feels like a chapter in a greater story. Uh, hopefully we'll get the third volume sooner than later. Uh, the art is, is really solid. There's some really cool stuff done with it. You can kind of see here this idea of, like, the rope and the, the gold uh, going around the, the pages. Uh, X throughout, and then you get some like great spreads like this. There's a lots of stars. Uh, it really kind of takes that style of Wonder Woman and plays things really uh, well. Um, there's also kind of some throwbacks to different styles of Wonder Woman, Woman throughout the years, which I think is really kind of cool. This really reminds me of kind of the 70s look that she had. Uh, so overall, like the design of everything, I think is really really good. Um, the the page layouts I think are excellent. The page layouts really stand out to me. Uh, as top-notch stuff. And overall, it's a great graphic novel. I didn't enjoy, I think I, from they, it's been a long time, I don't remember enjoying the first volume a whole lot. The second volume is so much better. Um, I really dig it, and I think it's so socially re relevant and uh, pertinent to everything going on today. It's just a great way to weave in modern politics and social political stuff into storytelling uh, and, and kind of reflect upon the world that is. Uh, so this is out now. Uh, it retails for $24.99. It's a nice hardback cover. You can go get it in comic shops today. I always go support your comic shop first and foremost. They're the backbone. We've got a link beneath this. Put in your zip code. I'll tell you if shops near you. No shop, no problem. We have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we do get a percentage of that. I want to thank DC Comics hooking us up with the review copy of this. As always, we appreciate it, and we like to be transparent. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into Wonder Woman, DC Comics, graphic novels, comics in general, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, go with the ideals of Wonder Woman. Keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.